Hey folks, Striker here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be tackling the first scenario of the Jan Ziska campaign titled The One-Eyed Wanderer. So right off the bat, I'm going to get armor and husbandry on my cavalry units. I want them to run fast and be a little bit more tanky. I'm going to delete my starting siege workshop because I'll be finding a new one and that one will just get kind of in the way during the building queue. Um, I'm also adding four crossbows because that's kind of as much as we can afford. Um, in the east here, I'm going to destroy some orange forces and then take out a market and a lumber camp, which will give me a thousand wood, which will be all the resources that we need to complete the actual objective of this scenario, which is to destroy the green castle in the south. So right now I'm going to discover my new siege workshop, immediately queue up battering rams, and then discover that dock and just get rid of the scout because he's going to be in the way. Um, after destroying this market and lumber camp, I'll rendezvous my knights and my crossbows to start and take out the uh, green forces that are going to be in the way of my rams. While my knights are going to meet up with the crossbow, I'm going to send the hero unit, Jan Ziska, there down to the south, and he's going to get ready to be in position to distract the enemy forces. In the north, we discovered a market uh, that's going to be used just to buy and sell from this wood to make sure that I can get at least six battering rams out. These fights are pretty standard. I am playing against the Bohemians, so I don't want to get hit by their pikes. Uh, they do a huge amount of damage to knights. So that fight went really well. I didn't end up getting any damage on my units, didn't lose any units that is. And then we get a little more gold that we can use to buy the last of our wood that will get us six battering rams. We have one more fight coming up here. Um, it's the same thing as before, just fighting against pikes, crossbows, and a scorpion. So we'll dive in, kill the scorpion, and then when the pikes come, we'll run back to our crossbows and use them to whittle down the enemy numbers. This fight went a little slow for me. I need to uh, do a better job with my knights, keeping them close to the crossbow so I can clean up those pikes earlier. Um, you can see that up in the top there, my last battering ram is just finishing. I want to have this fight done before that ram is finished. But even that was only a little bit slow. So while I get my rams here, I'm going to send Jan Ziska in. He's going to distract the green forces and then pull them off to the north. Um, I'm also fighting the bridge forces. That's just to take out the one pike that's still there. Uh, the one pike that's on that bridge still does a whole chunk of damage to rams. Um, this pathing can be a little tricky, but I got it on the first try here, which was nice. Drop off my rams and make my way through there. Double check that I've still got all these pikes chasing me. Everything's good here. So we just gotta destroy this gate, destroy this castle, and we've won the scenario. This one, uh, I was pretty proud of the um, optimizations I made on it. I think the only place where I could, you know, maybe save some time is just in uh, getting my ramps positioned a little better around the castle here. You can see I had one that just didn't really want to attack. Um, but yeah, from here the run's pretty much over. Uh, all we gotta do is watch this castle fall. So if you made it this far, thank you so much for your support. Make sure, like the video, uh, hit that subscribe button to get notified of any future releases. Let me know down in the comments if there's a specific campaign mission that you'd like to see me take a run at. And otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.